Don't be vain. Don't be void. Just going to church without a purpose. Go to him seeking counsel, seeking his face, seeking to please him. A lot of things are written for those who don't fully understand the word of God, don't understand his voice, doesn't understand how his voice sounds and his direction. So that's why the word is there, is plain for those who want to understand it. So you see how a spirit was given to David. But then we also see a spirit was also given to Saul, one that was evil. So what God teaches us is if you want to be disobedient to him, he will give you a spirit of disobedience. But if you want to be an obedient child of God, woman, man of God, he will give you a spirit in order to do that. Now, a lot of you have it confused and you really believe that there is something called a lukewarm Christian. People who are good without serving God, without devoting their life to serving God. That's not true. It does not exist. God says in his word, even in Revelation, it speaks about a lukewarm person I will spew out. So you're either hot for him or cold. So if you're cold or you're lukewarm, he will spew you out, which only leaves someone who really wants him, someone who really desires him, someone who's going beyond what is written and seeking his face. Seeking the hidden mystery, studying to show yourselves approved, not getting study books. I'm talking about you searching yourself. Asking God, where are you? Asking how he could come into your lives. Asking if your house is in the right place where he could dwell and sup with you. A spirit was given to Saul. And a spirit was given to David. I want you guys to earnestly understand what I'm trying to say here. People are governed by spirits, not personalities, not, not by their lifestyle, not by, not by their environment. They're governed by spirits. And you have to realize that everyone, regardless of their environment, regardless of their lifestyle, they have to make a decision who they want to serve. Do you want to be a servant of sin or do you want to be a servant of God? And you all and a lot of people have said, I don't want to be either one. Then you're a servant of sin. Change now. Before it's too late. Don't lose sight of your prize. The prize is to enter into heaven and gain that crown. The prize is for you to have life and have it more abundantly. Do not trust in false confidences such as money and relationships. They will always fail you. You realize that you're always paying for something and you never actually own it. You realize that people change and the way they look at you change. And if it was up to them, they probably wouldn't even want to be with you any longer. But God teaches us that we could be saved because he doesn't change. He's the same God yesterday as he is today. So don't look on the outward appearance. Don't look at yourself and say, well, I'm unworthy. I'm not able. I'm unwilling. It's this taste and see that the Lord is good. You have to have that action for yourself. You can't go to a restaurant unless you go. You can't try the best food unless you go there in order to try it. And yes, the line may be long, but you understand that it's worth the wait. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Because God is good not sometimes, but all the time. God bless.